Sup fans, welcome back to our channel. Welcome to another movie review. And since I already covered Friday the 13th of Nightmare on Elm Street, well, I think it'd be appropriate for us to talk about, sorry, I kind of moved my cable there, to talk, to quickly talk about in a spoiler heavy review of, well, <laughs> one of my favorite crossover films of all time, Freddy vs. Jason, coming up right now. And I hope you guys enjoy the show. All right, guys, quiet on set. Scene one, take one. Action. Boom. Now, if you guys like this video, make sure you guys leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure you share with your friends. Also, hit that bell for notifications because, well, it helps the channel a lot. And if you're new here, welcome, sit down, relax, and enjoy the show. Freddy vs. Jason, it is directed by Ronnie Yu, and of course, we have Robert England coming in as Freddy Krueger, and Ken Kirshinger playing Jason Voorhees. So, I already talked about, if you already seen my first two, like, videos, Friday 13th and Nightmare on Elm Street, you know that I, in those videos, I said I'll do a more in-depth review and all that stuff on the on the movie. So, here it is. So, and also just to wrap up, you know, both franchises. So, yeah. So, Freddy, after the events, I believe after the events of Freddy's Dead, the Final Nightmare is, he's just in hell. You know, basically he has no nowhere to get out of it because well the town of springwood kind of censored his name or kind of just erased his name from the history books even if there's any incident related to freddy they will kind of rule it out as uh, as you know s word you know and and all that stuff so with so now freddy well now they're they're basically like you know erasing it or treat him like he's a disease according to mark and who was a, his brother was a victim the, the uh, early victim of freddy so yeah so yeah, Freddy, uh, he's in the bow. He searched the bowels of hell, but then he found someone. Someone who will make them remember. So, who is that? Jason Voorhees. So, Freddy Krueger disguises himself as Pamela Voorhees, and he manipulates Jason a bit. So, he resurrects Jason. Jason goes to Springwood, and mostly Elm Street and all this. So just to Springwood. Elm Street is a street in Springwood. So, he's out there killing a bunch of kids and all that stuff. So, Lori, at the same time, Lori, played by Monica Kina, you know, she's, uh, well, she, she's living in, uh, in Nancy's house, the Elm Street house, 1428 Elm. So, now Freddy kind of wants to mess with her because she killed her mother before and all that stuff. But then again, he wants to mess with pe pretty much people in that house for some reason, who live in the house. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, but then again, I think it's because Nancy's mom, you know, she took his gloves when they killed him, and he's, it's kind of pretty much, there's buried in the house. But yeah, again, not a, not a good sidetrack. So... Jason's on a rampage and unfortunately he's killing too many of Freddy's victims, would-be victims. So Freddy's got, everybody's thinking it's Freddy. So Freddy gets the, the power of, you know, the fear. And then again, not also because Mark kind of spread the fear a bit because he's a, yeah, him, and Will, played by Jason Ritter, who is, um, who is Monica Keenan, well, Monica Keenan plays Lori, who's Lori's ex-boyfriend now, boyfriend now, again, they escape the, the, the Springwood Mental Institution and they spread fear and all that stuff. Again, a lot of, side sub, sub plus you're not that i think of it well not some side plus <laughs> and um well now everybody's thinking it's freddy so freddy gets a lot of gets the powers and before freddy can even get a kill you know gib uh played by Catherine Catherine isabel she before he can even get a chance to kill her jason impales her and well you know freddy's like no she's mine 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 he gets mad so now he's like, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill, I'm gonna kill Jason, man. Fuck him. So he possesses a kid who looks like, who looks like Jay from Jay and Silent Bob. <laughs> and and well, um, yeah, Jason's put asleep. He's in a dream world where basically Freddy wants to draw him into his world so he can kill him. Finds finds out that well, Freddy, you know, he's it's hard to kill Jason. So then Jason finds out that holy shit, this guy is he wants he wants to kill me. So it becomes a fight. So that is my plot synopsis. Now let's get on to the review, guys. I I'm one of those people that I'm always I'm I gotta say this is in my opinion a classic, and I always I'm gonna say I always send my those two videos. This is how you do it. How you do a crossover film? My God, it respects both lores. Nothing all that stuff. They don't really do a lot like like to change and all that stuff. So it basically respects Freddy's lore. It respects Jason's lore. It, it, it's hard to it, some crossovers. I believe they try to. Trying to complicate that, and here they don't try to overcomplicate that. Well, a little bit with the subplot, which is the least interesting thing of the movie, which I'll get to in a few minutes. And of course, Robert England, as his part of performance as Freddy, 
He is fucking awesome, man. He delivers his lines perfectly. Ken Christianger, I know that Kane Hodder was supposed to play Jason here, but he wanted to play Jason, but I believe there... I don't know what happened. There's so many click conflicting reports on the, on the behind-the-scenes stuff, but he overall, he got screwed over. He got screwed over, and he and I, I think to this very day, he's still upset. He's not as upset anymore, but you know he has every right to be upset You know if he's still upset. But he's played by Ken Kirshinger, who was who played Jason. He was a he was he was a stunt, and he was also in the movie too, and and a nightmare. I mean, a, a Friday Thirteenth Part Eight, Jason takes Manhattan. So he did some of the stunts, and he was that uh bar bartender guy or that 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 cook that that tall ass dude. Since they shot the movie in Vancouver, Vancouver, you know he's a, he's a Canadian actor. He's a tall ass dude, so they got some Canadian actors there. Again, tall ass dude, and Kane is <laughs> he was pretty short, but you know he just throws him and all that stuff, which is funny. And so again, it's one of my favorite lines in the movie. Like, help! There's a maniac coming, coming out trying to kill us. Welcome to New York. That's a terrible New York accent. I apologize for anybody in New York that's watching this, <laughs> but. Yeah, no, it, it, Ken Christian plays Jason, and he is amazing, I gotta say, despite being my least favorite, because, he, again, he lumbers, I said this in my two videos, that he kind of lumbers like a Frankenstein creature, but then he, that's more like Ronnie Yu's, you know, direction like that, but I like him, he's very expressive behind the mask, he's very expressive, and when he's mad, he's mad, and he's just, he's just, he's a big dude, nice dude, and also I love, yeah, right here, let me see if I can get a... Yeah, Jason, I love that. He's, I think it's more of the more modern J modern one where he has like a coat or like a or a, a freaking sweater on or something, like a hoodie. I love his design. He's really cool. And yeah, he I, I like I like him. I like Jason like that. And he has a bit of strand of hair too. So that's really cool because yeah, he's a deformed dude. And the fights, the two when it when they're fighting, it delivers, man. I love the dream sequence where Freddy's just fighting and Jason with all the reds and greens and all that stuff, with the with the whole elements. And I love that scene when he just because it could Freddy's flinging Jason around in a like a ping pong and all that stuff. And well, you know, he tries to kill him and all that stuff. But then again, he's like he sees that Jason's still alive and he just he smashes something. He smashes like a tank on him, and he's like. Why won't you die? I love it. And then just Jason's like, you know what? No more playing around. I'm going a, I'm to a fuck, you, fuck you up. And then once, uh, once Lori helps, you know, they, the kid, they, our, te our, our teenage, then again, they look, they're 30 something year olds or young adults playing teenagers, then they don't look like teenagers. So then they come in and help out the fight and all that stuff. So Jason wakes up. And then, uh, well, the final fight in, in Crystal Lake, it gets cartoonish and gory at the same time. But then again, that is just awesome and all that stuff. It's fun. It gets, it's over the top and it's cool. I love it a lot, man. I love, I love Freddy and Jason as well. And I love the fights and all stuff. And the kills are cool. They're gnarly as hell. And, and I just like that. And also Freddy is only kill when he kills Will. No, not Will. Uh, Mark. He kills Mark. That's a pretty cool kill, man. And yeah, no, that's, that's really awesome, man. It, Fred, Robert England, he's just great. He gets one kill, but he's he's good in this one. My, I gotta say, my criticism is yeah, the the plot with the teenagers. That's kind of that's the the least fun part about it because they kind of drag it a bit here with this one. But then again, I kind of like it fine. I love Monica Kina as Lori. I, I she's adorable, but then every chick, yeah, but every chick here has like big titties. Jesus Christ. So <laughs> yeah, no, that's fine. Nah, yeah, that's fine for me. I love big titties. Um, but yeah, no, Catherine Isabel is pretty cool, despite not having a lot of screen time. Um, Kaylee Rowland's really fine, but yeah, uh, but it's, uh, and Jason Ritter, he's not the best in this one, but I really love Jason Ritter, man. He's John Ritter's son, and I know, we all mostly know him now as Dipper Pines, the voice of Dipper for, from Gravity Falls, which is my favorite Disney cartoon of all time. But yeah, it, he, he's pretty good in this one, too, and man, oh man... Man, I had a huge, massive crush on Monica Kina's Lori, man. I just, I don't know. I just, I, she's really cool. No, nah, just, uh, she's just, she's really cute. You know, she's really cute. But I had a huge crush on her though. So yeah. <laughs> but no, the characters, the acting is pretty bad. A lot of areas. And it kind of like, it kind of lingers on the characters. But then again, they're very useful. They're not that they're useless. They try to piece things together and how to, you know, how to make them, you know, how to get these two together to fight, you know? So yeah, but also at the same time, Lori's trying to get closure by by trying to kill Freddy too because he killed her mother, and he put Will in a way freaking in a way he Freddy was in, is basically responsible for putting Will in the psychic you know in in psychiatric ward in the psychiatric ward because you know yeah the, her her Ma, Lori's dad works at the Springwood you know Springwood Hospital and he tried to cover it up and all that stuff but he knows that it's Freddy and all that stuff so they try to cover it up and Will was a witness so. 
yeah and no that is just that's just crazy that's just crazy though how it has this subplot but then again i i do like it at the same time it's my least favorite thing about the movie but it's still fun i still like the story at all i love the story because of all the scripts and everything like that the shitty scripts this is in that, the best one is very basic cool and all that stuff and damien shannon and mark swift they worked on the script and i say they delivered on them and this is a movie that's pretty much made by for by fans for fans and it's really cool i liked it a lot and this movie doesn't try to go deep it's simple you just want to see freddie and jason beat the living shit out of each other you know what no there's nothing wrong with that but yeah guys i love this movie and also before i wrap up this video i love the soundtrack this thanks to this movie i got I got, I got into my favorite metal band, Killswitch Engage, my favorite rock band. I, this movie introduced me to my favorite band of all times, and I love that a lot. So, yeah, so with that, I will give Freddy vs. Jason a perfect 5 out of 5, because why not? And also, do you guys like my Cavity Color shirt? That's cool. It was made for the 25th anniversary? 20th anniversary, actually, of the movie. So, yeah. <laughs> so that is my review for spoiler review for freddy versus jason hope you guys enjoyed the video and thank you guys so much for watching my video so let me know down in the comment section down below have you guys seen freddy versus jason what you guys think of it i would love to know please let me know down in the comment section down below i would love to hear your opinions on it so this is javi from Hollywood production signing off and i hope you guys enjoyed the show